first of all, the new album, Savage Life 5. The, the number one in the world right now. Rock yeah. the street, Savage Life 5, baby. Okay, like how the long Savage. did it take you to put that whole album together? Man, it don't matter, man. Shout out to all my fans and all my, everybody who believed in me from day one. You believe in yourself. I, I feel like I could be a pop up and do an album. And that's, I feel like I'm blessed to do that. And my people, so I, I, I don't know. Savage Life 5, baby, is all the way me. Now, you know, like a lot of people are saying Savage now. Like, oh, he a savage and so forth. But you've been saying Savage for forever, really. Oh, yeah. From day one, I was born a savage. I'm the savage. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A lot of, you got a lot of savages. I'm the savage. You know, and shout out to all of them. I'm not mad at it. I love being somebody that feel like I started something. You right. know? You know, I like that. And, and I feel like I tell them, Pete, how old you at, Web? I say, I'm 65, man. I feel like I'm old now, man. <laughs> so these kids, I, I just talk, shout out to Ben Simmons. I talk to him all the time. I feel like, yeah. I'm, I feel like I'm inspiration, man. You know? Yeah. And I like I mean, it. We just interviewed uh, that artist 21 Savage yesterday. So you know, I, I mean, that, I don't know him either. Well, you there. know, shout out to him. But look, yep. you know, I just feel like, like, God bless me to be one of the people. Like, he got somebody that's listening right now. You know what I'm saying? And all I can do is give a message, and my message is to the kids: don't try to be this. Don't try. Go to school, and you can be whatever you want to be. Stay in school. Go to school, and that's and that's and that's important. Straight up. There you go. So, I mean, from your definition, what is a savage? Me. <laughs> savage life five, baby. Savage life five. You well, know. What, what part of you is savage, though? I mean, I know, you know, you know you're going to say everything, look, but like, I, look, explain what savage is. Let me tell you. Let me explain how that happened. I was like 14. You know, I've been out here a minute, man. And I, I got in the car with one of the OG, you know what I'm saying? And he wanted you, he wanted to start the little rap game thing off his, you know, you know. So I rap, and he say, "Man, you the savage, man." And that's what it was. He say, "You the savage, man," and it never stopped. Rest in peace to him, though. He got killed. Rest in peace to Boo. Mm. That's something, you know. One day you hear, next day you gone. But God got a plan for everybody. Me too, you know. I have seizures, man. That's crazy, man. That's, they take them. It's medicine shit. I have a... But we good, though. That's we what's in up. hands, baby. We good. Now, now you, got, you got Snoop Dogg on the album. How'd that come together? Uncle Snoop. Uncle man, Snoop. that's an OG. That's an OG, man. I grew up, everybody, Snoop Dogg. Dog, you know him when he turned into the dog. Dr. Dre. Shout out, man. Yeah, he on the album. That's big, you know. I, I, me being me and being in it, sometimes I forget how big that is. You know what I'm saying? But that's that's something, man. I, I, I said, man, I said, man, I'm, you know, I don't know. I, I, it'd be hard to put stuff in really being, uh, being me. How did it come together, though? Like, how, how'd you end up getting him on that song? I hit him up. I, I did a song. I, I, you know, I, you know, we, the illegal, whatever. We people know my background. People know his background. Shout out to the Snoop, the Snoop Dogg strand, the weed. Shout out to that savage life that's coming soon. You know what I'm talking about? Anyway, I did a song. I said I got soon the beat came on. I said, oh, I got some gin and some juice, and I'm smoking on Snoop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I say, man, what's Snoop number? What you know when you when you hear the certain status, man? When you an OG, like I said, I, I done became. I'm blessed. I'm an OG. That's how I, what, man, what's Snoop number, man? Get Snoop on the phone. Well, okay, man. I hit him up. I said, I got something for you, man. I need you to talk. Huh? He said, man, done. And that was that. Sent it. You know? Yeah, I mean, Snoop a real motherfucker. Like, like, Snoop will fuck with any artist that he feeling. It don't even matter the money or the stature or whatever. He just stay putting out shit. That's the thing about Snoop. I mean, I don't, I, I, yeah, I just know he's an OG. I look at him as a real, from the Dickies, from, you know, all that, man. Uncle Snoop. Uncle Snoop. West okay. side. Shout out to the West Coast, baby. I'm from everywhere. And I'm chilling yeah. in my hometown. Bad rules. Like they say, it ain't no place like home. And I, and I realize that, what that means more and more. Every, every, every day. Yeah, I'm sure everybody in the world realize it ain't no place like home. During those 10 years that I've known you, a lot of rappers have come and gone. 
There's a lot of rappers that was hot, that was hotter than you at one point, and you don't hear about them anymore. Ain't nobody, <laughs> ain't nobody hotter than me. Ain't nobody ain't gonna ever be hotter than me, man. Well, I'm just saying that there's, there's me, some rappers that, that, that they've had bigger singles. They're gonna be that guy you know burned. That, 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 that they've had a song that was a big monster song, and then you know a year they're later. They're gonna be that guy burnt. <laughs> <laughs> how, 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 how does Webby? How does Webby? How have you maintained all these years to the point where you still doing good, you still doing shows, you still got songs people fucking with, you got artists Man. that fuck with you? How have you maintained maintain that consistency? People come and go like you said, bro. And all this shit happened and this, 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 this. And then your money get up, money get down. The car, the, this be the old car, this be the new car. You know, the fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade kid get old. All kind of shit change. Huh? But my relationship will never change with the Lord, man. You know, so I ain't saying I made it. I ain't saying I'm good. I'm just saying that's just for so. If you see me up or down, that's for sure, man. I'm always know. I'm always know. I'm always know. I'm always know. The Lord, I was something. It was something with. I'm always know. You feel me? And that's just crazy. What What about your work ethic? You think your work ethic different than other people? I'm the savage. <laughs> I'm the savage, right? That's that's my work ethic. Savage life. Savage life five. Number one in the real right now. Go get it. The dumb way. The dumb yeah. way. Like, like, how often are you in the studio in a typical week? How many days do you go to the studio? Praise the Lord again. Every day. I built the studio in the house, man. I stay at a country club now, man. I'm in a bad room forever, man. I'm in a big house in the country club with the white folks in Duluth County out there in Georgia, man. Yeah, I can tell you exactly where I stay because you got to go through all kind of police and shit to get to my motherfucking <laughs> house, man. Look. Yeah, I stay right there with the motherfucking Bentleys and shit in the Ferrari and shit in the yard, nigga. Bitch, I'm Gucci. You know, yeah. we good. Yeah, so you're in the studio every day pretty much. Every day. Every day I live there. I live there. I live there, you know. Shout out to my little boy, my little bro, Beezer boy. He came for he came up with me in school, you know, but he been in jail for the he 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 just got out. He on the highway. Man, he finna be big, man. And don't forget look at us. Like I told them people, I told the boot, I said, Y'all be watching for Boosie. They say, Who boy, Boosie? Now I'm telling you now, Beasy Boy. Beasy Boy. Beasy Boy. Savage right. life, baby. He coming. Straight out of jail okay. to the top. How, how, how did you and Boosie initially hook up? But from Baton Rouge City. You know, from Baton Rouge, man from Baton Rouge City. And he from Another neighborhood. I'm from this side of the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? And, mm -hmm. and you know, they heard about it. We met up, Unc. No, they CEO. Shout out to Uncle Screws and Grouch. CEO of the Chill Entertainment. They put it together, and we ran. Oh, it. oh, oh! So the, the label actually put y'all together. Yeah. Okay. Oh, cause you, cause both of y'all was rapping at the time. No, I wasn't rapping. This, this my, I wasn't never no. I ain't never put out a CD or nothing. You know, boo. He wasn't rapping. You know, it, it, God, man. God put mm -hmm. us together. That's what I'm gonna say. Okay, so I, 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 explain it to me. So, so Trill, the dudes that run Trill Entertainment, they took two dudes who wasn't rapping. Yeah, and they see, made y'all. They look, made y'all rappers. Look, boo, boo. They were rapping, did some kind of something. I just came over there, like, like rest in peace of my right, rest in peace of my dog, boo. You know, again, he bought me over there. He bought me over here. He bought me over here to the other ground. I was like four fifteen, and see, I rap. They say rap, and I rap, and I ain't never stopped coming. <laughs> I ain't never stopped coming. Straight up. I told my pops, I told my pops, I say, man, forget that school, man. I <laughs> forget school. I'ma be a rapper. <laughs> he said, he hey, he ain't understand. He ain't understand. He ain't understand. But shout out to Pops, cause I just seen him. He say, Well, whatever you said it. He said, I still don't understand what you got. He said, I still don't understand what you're doing. He said what you said, whatever you're doing. He said it. I said, I'm built like that, baby. Savage life five, baby. That's how I'm built. Okay. All right, so 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 Boo from Trill Entertainment put y'all together. No, and then, Boo bought me to Trill Entertainment. Trill Entertainment, that's Uncle Scrooge and Grouch. You oh, know okay. what I'm saying? Boo got killed. Boo got oh, okay. killed. Rest in peace okay. to Boo. Rest okay, in peace so he, to Boo. he brought you to, to Uncle Scrooge and, and he like, Grouch. check, 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 check this nigga out. Check me out. And I okay. busted, and I ain't never, and every, and every day since. Out there busting that rap, nigga say, spoiler. That nigga the savage. Niggas, 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 told me out. Niggas say savage, and I ain't never stop. And them niggas, they the one name out of my album, Savage Life. Yeah. Okay, and you were, you were 15 at the time. Yeah. And, and Boosie, Boosie, you was the same age? Nah, you know, Boo, 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 a little bit older than me. Okay, so but but Boosie wasn't rapping either at the time. Nah, Boo, Boo was rapping with them. 
Okay. Okay. You know. So, I, so, so, how, how did y'all really form your? You know, I mean, sometimes labels put people together, but you know, they don't really fuck with each other. Like, like, how, how did y'all really gel to where you are now? He was in that bit, nigga. You, you know, he was he'll be in there with his clique. I'll come in there with my clique. Shout out to here, boss. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Bleak, man. Let Bleak got killed, man. You know what I'm saying? And we, and you know, as time go by, the relationship grow. And you know, next thing you know, now we hitting these cities. The out of town city selling all this CD together, you know that love grow. When we out of town together, we nigga, you fuck with him, I'm falling, and I free fuck, and that's how it was, and, you know, and it, and it grew. Okay, so so how did y'all go from being on this independent label to getting your first deal at Atlantic? Girl, give me that pussy. <laughs> Girl, give me that. You know, just like, you know how you know we came, baby. The Lord, praise the Lord, man. Right, because that, that was actually the first hit record from y'all, was, was that song, Give no, Me That Pussy. No, see, you got to go nope. and do your research on that trio fam, though. Now, you okay, see? What, 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 was the, what was the song before that? Oh, man. The first one, the first time me and Boo touched the studio together, we, it, it was only like a few minutes, and that was Do It Big. Go look at that. Okay. That's, when we were, that's when we were young. Do It Big. Do It Big then, you know what I'm saying? And, man, that shook us. Boy, that had, that had, that had Baton Rouge crump. We would okay. jump. Uh, it was called, what the album was called? Yeah. Ghetto Stories. Ghetto Stories. Then we came back with an album, man, boo, called Gangster Music. And hey, man, you know, you know, it was, okay. man, God good, man. But, but, but Give Me That Pussy, that was the song that was on Atlantic, though. That yeah. was a major label song. Girl, Give Me That Pussy. What, what changed when a major label got behind your shit and suddenly it ain't just Baton Rouge, it's everywhere? I remember my dog, my dog was like, man, we got we to gotta do we gotta do something for um for some fun. I, I forgot exactly how you said it, but something fun. I say, man, how this sound, man? Then I just did that bit. Girl, give me that pussy. I ran, I wrote that bitch quick. Came back in that bit. Did that all. That bad bitch. That bitch shot to the top of the charts. You hear me, nigga? You hear me? I'm the one, that, but you know what the boy that that fucking end of that I N D E P E. Man, I was yeah. number one in the world. I say, God damn, that shit crazy. It's crazy, but you know. Right, well, because, you know, I mean, it seemed like, I, I feel like when, when, you know, Give Me That Pussy came out, a lot of women were sort of upset about that song. You know what I mean? A lot of people felt like, you know, it was kind of misogynistic and so wow, forth. because they wanted me to they sell. <laughs> 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 but, then, but then when you dropped Independent Woman, that was like the, the woman empowerment song. They, they couldn't say nothing about that. Yeah, man. W women loved that. I mean, th that song, I felt like like women really fucked with it. Like, Give Me That Pussy was a, was a song more for the dudes, but independent women, like, I would see women in the club losing their mind when that came on. What did what, you say about Bad Bitch? That's a bad, bad bitch. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. But independent woman, like, I feel like that hit all types of women. Like, you know, you, you ain't going to have, like, middle class women... Talk about bad bitch, but independent woman was hitting every type of woman. Every every type of woman could could relate to that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Rest in peace to my little bro, little fat man. Little fat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was on there. He was on there. How, how how did you feel when you heard about the news about little fat getting killed? Man, oh bro. Uh, uh, oh my, I don't know. I thought that's the feet. That's him tattooed on me, up, bro. You know, it, I mean, everybody gonna have to hear that news one day, dog. Yeah. You feel me? And that's crazy. And that's yeah, great. you just you just not supposed to hear the news that, that early. Young, that, that early. That early. You're not supposed to hear that. That early. You know. Yeah, man. Yeah. That that was fucked up, especially since since he just had that song, and it seemed like people was really fucking with him now. Yeah, it wasn't he wasn't he related to the to the owners of, of yeah. True Entertainment? Yeah, man, that's what they, that's my little bro, man. That's all they used to say. What's that, I'm big bro? What we gotta do? What that man? That's shit crazy, man. Yeah, that was that was fucked up. Did, did they find out who killed him? I don't, I don't know. Wow. Yeah, I I I'd heard some some story about some some Russian dudes or some dudes having to do some some car shit or something something real fucked up. Like it 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 was really like 
It just sounded real foul hmm. when I heard about it. Times yeah. like five, right? The dumb what? Yep. For real, yeah, Baton Rouge City, Baton Rouge City, man, it's going down in my city. You know, yep. it's going down in my city right now. Yeah, man. So, so you're still Trill Entertainment? Forever. Trill for Forever. life. Who else is on Trill Entertainment right now? Trill for life, man. Yeah, all of us. If you, everybody who was on there at first. Right. Is, is, is Wayne Kango, is she still on Trill? Yeah. Okay. She, she's on the album, right? Yeah. Yep. I'm looking yeah, at it. Mike, yeah. Fo yeah. Oh, Fox. Fox on the album. Yeah, you know Fox on them. Yep. You know Fox showed up on them. Little Trill. Shell, uh, I don't know who Shell is. All right, you got to check him out. He come hard too, man. He from New Orleans. Yeah. He come hard too, man. And of, of course, Boosie Badass on there. You already know. Why Why is Boosie only on one song, though? That's what I don't understand. Nah, no, wait, two, two songs, two songs. Oh, yeah, because that, that's Savage. That's my solo album. <laughs> <laughs> what you want to do? You know, me and him, we're going to do another um, another gangster music, though, another group album coming soon. We're going to get that right. That's dope. We're going to get it right. That's dope. And you got Kirko Bangs on it, too? Yeah, yeah, man. He dope. We're going to get it right. Uncle Snoop, shout out to my uncle, man. Straight up, man. That's something, man. I'm telling you, and I'll be like, hey, yeah, that's growing up. Back to the dog, the dog pound, you know. Yep. Shout out to Drake, you know. What I'm saying? I don't know what they, you know. But like, yeah, shout out, you know. Just growing up, looking up to them. You got the song "Strip Pole" on there, right? So you go everywhere. What city got the baddest strip clubs? I ain't gonna say no. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna. <laughs> I, I, I'm not finna. Like, I'm not about to let you get me like that. All of them. <laughs> I don't know. What, what do you mean get you, man? Why? Because you, you, you go no, obsess with strippers? I, I, I ain't probably make no up, no been there. No, 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 I'm better than another. Uh -uh. They all be bad. They all got the bad. I don't know, man. I'm going to have to say Atlanta. I'm going to have to say Atlanta you got say the Atlanta? bad strip clubs. I mean, because, you know, it's, it's part of the culture so much. You know what I'm saying? Like, you say like, ATL. I say ATL because, you know, I mean, New York got some cool strip clubs. L.A. got some cool strip clubs. Vegas got some cool strip clubs. But, you know, it seemed like in Atlanta, the strip clubs and the music just kind of come together. Yeah, I, yeah, I ain't trying to cut time. When it comes to strip, strip club, like, what you like? Like, what you, I see you, you know, like, what you, you a white man. You a white, you know. What you, what I, kind I, of girl I, I like you like? Ass. See, you know what it is? I like, I like ass, but I like natural ass. I don't, I don't like the fake asses. That, that yeah. ain't my thing. Yeah. And, it, it, and it seemed like most times now when you go to a strip club, it's ninety percent fake ass. Yeah, man, I don't like that shit either, man. That shit nasty to me. I don't, I don't want nothing to do with that. I, don't I want like that it. natural. So what say you? What you like? If you like them big, thick, fine, motherfucker. Yeah. Okay. I'm, okay. I'm six two. I'm six two, man. You know what I'm saying? Look I like, at I like it thick. <laughs> you know, See, what I mean? nigga, but don't give me no little, no little, no little skinny chick. I, I can't do that. You go ask around, all them hoes to tell you I'm ten feet tall. Ten feet tall. I'm ten feet tall. What, what's what's the most money you ever spent in a strip club? What's the most you thrown out? Ah uh, man, you know, I I am not gonna even sit here and lie to you, bro. Well, the most money I ever threw out at a strip club, I think, was in Atlanta though, cause the owner came. He came. He was giving me ones. He started giving me ones. You know what I'm saying? He gave me down to ten thousand ones, man. Hey, just throw them. Just throw them. Just throw them. Yeah, you know, I don't really do that shit at the strip club, man. You know what I'm saying? I go to the strip club because my niggas be in that bitch and we fall off in that bitch. The hoes come dance on the nigga and shit. My niggas throw bread and shit. You know what I'm saying? Me, I try not to get caught on the fucking camera and shit with, by my, my, by my little bitch with no gear. But man, fuck it. Nah, fuck it. Bring all the cameras. Nah, she done fucked up, man. Nah, got me going, man. Fuck all that. I ain't, I'm tired of trying to be a good man at the house, man. For real, man. I'm going to be a good daddy. Man, man fuck it. This one girl's crazy, man. For real. For real, so go cheat on me. Go cheat on me. Go get you a nigga, because that's what I'm finna do. Fuck all that shit. I'm tired of that shit, man. I, I, I remember I, I seen an interview with Too Short, and he said his, his pimp name is Max Stingy, because when he goes to the strip club, he don't spend no type of money. Oh, man, you know. <laughs> oh, but see, hold up, but oh, damn. Hold up. 
I don't, I don't, I don't want to say the wrong. I don't, I don't. I know a nigga just had some little bread on him one day. We was in that bitch and a little crazy ass nigga. Back to me being crazy. That was, I ain't got no money. I ain't throwing no money. I done threw all my fucking money in that bitch. That bitch shit. It was about 40 racks in that bitch. Threw my shit. Hundreds. I say I don't need no ones. And guess what though? I ain't gonna sit here and stunt. I ain't gonna be stupid. It's back to the kids that need to stay in school and I. Man, I feel stupid than a motherfucker the next day. <laughs> Wait, so you threw out 40,000? <laughs> we you thugging in here, man? They don't, don't play with me, man. Because, you know, I be counting my little bread up as I, as I be picking up my money on the show. If it wasn't 40, because we had hit the mall and shit, you know, when I hit the mall, I got about like eight fits and I asked for whoever with me, man, get whatever you want. Be to spend five G's in that bitch. Look, I work with them on mad. Mm -hmm. Good guys. Mm -hmm. Good heart. Good guys, give you the shirt off their back. Is it, is it ironic? Is, is, is it a coincidence that they both, most of their friends are white and got white wives? They like white women? I, I mean. And they develop envy because they go home. They get out the car with, they, with, with, with their friend, with their other partner, and he listening to your music. They walk in the house. They girl listening to your music. They go downstairs, the kids doing a dance to your music. Now they are hypnotized with hatred. 